Hello, it's Cassandra. Thanks for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you go about completing the form for your test call or any call going forward after your test call has been approved. So basically when you um, log into your uh, website here, it will bring you to this tab called My Gigs. And when you click on that, it will bring up this page. It will, you can't go any farther than this you can't go backwards you it just brings up the next call the next gig um in your lineup so basically you'll see that it says mystery shop gigs call center resource and insight and the gig number so you'll always be able to keep track of how many gigs you've done um because it will increase in numbers then next to it, it will tell you what type of call it is. Get an online degree is the next call that I'm on. And then it says here is your call information. You want to make sure to read all of this information because they are not all the same information. So it says that mystery shoppers are identified by information given phone number, names, etc. are identified by the computer no pay for repeat users and gigs may be limited to other regions sometimes you will receive a gig that is not available in your state and unfortunately you would need to um, skip that call so then you move down further and it will tell you the call information the telephone number you where you need to go once you dial that phone number you would click on graduated high school and you would wait for the customer service agent now this is important and that's why it's in bold the call must last 10 minutes if your call does not meet the time requirements there is a possibility that you will not get paid so you want to make very sure that you pay close attention to the bold telephone number that you're dialing the right number and the bold here how long should my call be going down further um, subject of service this is this will tell you why you're calling basically um, for this instance it's getting a degree for business as you move down a little bit further, the customer profile information will tell you what type of customer you should be when you use this call. So it's over 18 years of age, you're interested in getting a college degree, you want to study a degree in business, computer, so on and so forth. You wish to get enrolled within three months, you heard about the company through Facebook and test customer service agents knowledge on this topic so you're going to ask questions and it will always give you examples of some questions that you can ask this is very important right here the call must be completed within these hours monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m every call is different some are available on the weekends some are not available on the weekends some of them are only available at 11 o'clock in the morning until later on in the night. Some of them are only open from 9 to 5 or 9 to 6. So you need to pay attention to where you're calling, how long your call lasts, and especially if you're calling within the right time frame. Number six here is bolded to remind you, you must ask three questions of your own and you would write those questions down at the bottom and I'll show you I'll go through that in a minute if you don't write the three questions <clears throat> excuse me out and if you do not note what the answers were you will not be paid after your call you're gonna fill out the survey below and take your time it says do not call the number more than once because you'll only be paid for the first time you dial out. <clears throat> now this down here says write NATC in survey fields when you cannot complete this call. NATC means not able to complete. It's basically saying because of a specific reason I was not able to complete the call. Um, it could be not available in your area. 
there could be no phone number associated with the call, or you have a personal reason why you cannot complete the call. For instance, there are some calls that get fielded to a alcohol or drug abuse information center. Um, if you are not comfortable with completing that call because of personal reasons on your own end, you would be able to utilize the NATC and just explain due to personal reasons, I will not be able to complete this call. <clears throat> so now we'll move down to the survey part. This is going to be the same every single call. This is going to be what you will fill out every single time you complete a call. So we're just going to work down and down. So the first uh, field is your area code and phone number. This is the phone number that you have applied with. This is the phone number that you will use for this call. So you would enter in your telephone number. And then you would toggle down to the next. Do you have trouble? Did you have trouble making this call out? If you dialed and the phone became disconnected, if you dialed and the number set out of service or some odd other instance, you would write yes and explain why you had trouble. If you didn't, just put no. Did you have to provide either of these information pieces? your email or mailing address. If you did, check them. So the cons, this is one, two, three. This is the area where you will write three cons of the call. It can be something that the agent can improve on. It can be something that you didn't like about the call. If the, if the rep spoke too quickly, you could write that. If they over talk to you, you could write that. There's many things that you can write here. It's basically an area for the rep where they can improve. So you would write those there. Did you meet the minimum call requirements? For this call, if you can remember, the minimum call requirement was 10 minutes. If yes, choose yes. If no, choose no. If you choose no, you have to go down to the pros box and um, put a couple of stars and write was not able to meet. I'm typing with one hand, I apologize. Call requirements because and then you would write why because the call was disconnected because the agent hung up on you because whatever the reason is just write it there then you will go up to what was your agent's name you will write their name if you were transferred you will write the person who you first got on the phone with and then a dash and then transferred to and the person's name. The overall call rating, one being the worst call you've ever had, the worst customer service you've ever received, and six, that person was a rock star. So you choose based on your call, one through six. Now the pros area, you will do the same thing as you did in the cons area, you will write three positive attributes, excuse me, attributes of the call. The person was very friendly. They were very informative. They had a good speed in talking. You would write those there. Then you're going to enter down and this is where you're going to put your questions that you asked the person. 
Now you will do four of those. So this is how they want it done. What hours are you open tomorrow? If you asked that question, and I spelled tomorrow wrong. I'm all over the place. There we go. So what hours are you open tomorrow? And they reply back to you and say 9 to 5 Central Standard Time. So that's the answer you would write there. 9 to 5 Central Standard Time. You would go down to question number 2, ask question number 2 within the call, record what you asked for a question and what their answer was. Now my suggestion is before you even start the call that you already figure out what four questions you're going to ask them because it allows you to be more organized so you're more prepared and you can t actually type the answers in while you're speaking to the customer service agent if you choose to. If you choose to complete the form after, that's completely up to you. So after you filled all of this out, all of the fields are filled in, all of your questions have been answered, the pros and cons have been, um, have been filled in, you would go down here and you would click submit. As soon as you click submit, a new call will re refresh on your screen. It's that simple. So if you have any questions, you can email me or uh, personal message me on Facebook. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, and I hope this training was informational. Have a great day, everyone.